Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am coming in today with a review video. First of all, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all your wonderful comments. I love comments, so keep them coming. And as much, it might take me a couple days to respond, but I do respond to all of my comments. And so um, thank you everybody for tuning in every week. Um, enjoy talking with you in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to click that bell so you don't miss an upload or notification when I've uploaded a new video. So this video is all about some sewing tools that I have been enjoying and I have used now so I feel like I can give a proper review. First, um, this review is not sponsored. I wasn't paid by anybody to do the review, bought everything with my own money. And so now that I have experienced these items, I can give you a bit of a review on them. So the first thing I want to talk about because it's, <laughs> it's an odd sewing tool, but I used it for sewing. Anyway, index cards, or and this might come off a little because it's green but just regular index cards. Or um, what I also used was um, plain, if you got eight by 11, uh, plain paper. And what did I use it for? So if you follow me on um, Instagram, you know that um, uh, I was I had to grade up one of my patterns um, that I was uh, using. And so um, I was following the uh, tutorial. I made sure to follow the tutorial tutorial from Andrea so to fit the proper way with the ruler um, to do the grading and so I did that for one item actually I did it for the t-shirt I'm wearing the grain line tee and my itch to stitch cardigan um, and so I did a sew along for the cardigan and I did a sew along for the um, um, I'm sorry not grain line deer and doe plantain tee is what I have on and so I'll just link those cards up up above here but anyway and so um but the next pattern i had to gray had a ton of pieces i needed to grade up and i was like oh my gosh so again my this was during the time when my uh i didn't have either machine they were both in the shop so i started watching getting caught back up on some of my craftsy also known as blueprint um there is a link down below because they always have free um, offerings going on so if you're interested in blueprint which was craftsy go ahead and click that link down below and then you'll see any details on that but anyway um, so I was watching and I was watching um, it was called modern modern tech techniques for jacket fitting I think that's what it was called modern jacket techniques is what the class is called and it was um, done by Pam Howard and um, is one class I was watching. And then there was um, another class, oh, Kathleen Cheatham. I forget what class it was. Could it, Do she have a grading class? I think it might be called. Well, at any rate, I was watching that video and I kind of mixed up video, so I'm gonna back up. Um, so I was watching uh, Kathleen Cheatham video and she was talking about grading the pattern and she used a business card and she said, or you can use the index card or whatever. And what she just marked were the lines between each, um, each, uh, where the sizing was and just moved the car over. And I, I, I was like, okay, brilliant. Cause my eyes was getting tired of looking at all those little lines on the ruler and I'll pop up a quick video. Either it'll go right here or I'll pop it up over here in the corner Actually, I'll pop it up over here in the corner and you'll just see what I'm talking about where it, it just brilliant and that grading went by so fast. Otherwise, I was just leaning over hurting my back trying to look at a um, look at a ruler. But anyway, so that was one thing. The index card, piece of paper or business card to do your grading. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And so um, so that's my review on the non-technical uh, sewing item. The second thing is I picked up was the Simplex Expanding um, Sewing Gauge. And this here, I bought this to do uh, for button placement. And so I've seen so many people do videos on this thing. And so I finally got it, got it through Amazon. And so I used it actually to uh, do um, uh, the button placement on my husband's uh, button ups. And so which I'll do a review of that um, in my looks looks video but um it perfect 
this was how much was this through Amazon I want to say it was like 16 17 dollars and I do have for those who don't know I know I don't talk about it a lot but for those who do check the the description box many people ask me where do I get some of my sewing tools stuff like this or my clear plastic um, holders for my patterns I get them through Amazon and I have an Amazon store down below a link go ahead and check that out and you'll see that here and if you're already shopping on Amazon go ahead and pick it up but at any any rate so love that that worked perfect that that really did work perfect um, so I like that and plus you can use it for other stuff um, you can use it for pleating um, bias strips uh, it says um, straight strips bias strips um, all other different types of crafts ideas um, and so it says here here's smocking too um, so yeah so very good tool very good tool um, another tool I picked up is the you already saw me talk about this so um, but I'll link down below to her Etsy shop Luna Graphics Co it is the let me just show you it comes in it in um, in these types of packaging the curve runner and the sleeve packet absolutely love both these you can't really see them but um, the template just helps you create a nice clean sleeve placket. I used it several times because I made two shirts so I had to make two plackets um, per shirt and then the curve runner which was also used um, to place the placket down. Now in my uh, other video I said you don't have if it's a two piece sleeve you don't have to measure um, where the placket goes which uh, pretty much stands true but I'm thinking because this was a man's shirt I went in one direction per the video um, Lindsay here on inside the ham show you how to do the sleeve placket and which way to go but I think on the man's shirt you have to go the opposite way because after I put the placket on they button up the wrong way <laughs> for a man's shirt for a women's shirt it probably is probably is more than likely fine but for the two-piece look at that placket look at that placket doesn't that look good so um this thicker piece should be it just should be opposite still in the same place but opposite and so for the two piece with the curve runner it ended up being in the same spot but i think next time i'm just going to double check to to run the curve runner the opposite way to get that midpoint um and so yeah very 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 nice i look at that sleeve placket so yes, I will be using sleeve placards because I need to still make my own button ups. And yeah, this sleeve placket, brilliant. Only thing you need with it, um, besides the piece of the, the garment or whatever, the steam -a seam it references here steam -a seam I have steam -a seam um, as well. And so, um, and I bought that from Joann's. I have bought my steam -a seam from Joann's. So these are some lovely, lovely. I highly rec recommend them. You can measure curves of, um, what else did I check? Oh, my arm side curve. So I was able to do, you know, just measure my arm side curve so I can get a good measurement there. That's very helpful if you're doing fit adjustments and you have some something going on around the arm side or you want to just check arm side measurements on different patterns. Easy breezy breezy. Just put that thing at zero. Put it at zero. Roll her around. There you go. And the one I got is 12 inches. She do sell them in centimeters as well. Um, so yeah, check it out. Um, I'll leave the link down below to her Etsy shop. Uh, okay, so see. my next item is that I have been loving is the Berta style carbon paper. And, um, and this should be linked in my Amazon store as well. I got this through Amazon and it came through the Quilted Bear. So it came from the UK. But I have free shipping because I have Prime. Um, it took maybe 10 days it wasn't that long i wasn't in a rush for it because i knew it was going to take some time so the time didn't bother me but this is some good stuff this is i see why a lot of the uk ladies love this um so much um and those who can get this this um brand it is really really nice it um, marks fabric really well easily and i can use the smooth um 
um, why do I always forget the name of the the uh, the wheel? You guys know what I'm talking about. I see it in my head. I just can't think of the name. But at any rate, um, yes, it is. As a matter of fact, it's the little tool she got, has in her hand. <laughs> but this is some good stuff. So in this here, can come with two. And the size is 83 centimeters by 57 centimeters. And um, it comes in yellow and white. Very good. Very, very good stuff. Um, the next item back to my earlier conversation i was talking about the other craftsy or blueprint now blueprint video i was watching when, when i didn't have my machine i was watching uh it was called modern jacket techniques by pam howard and so um i was just watching that video because i wanted to just see watch some new techniques learn some new things and so she was um ironing she was showing um how she was pressing and ironing different things and she had this cover over her um iron and of course somebody had to ask the question so i went to the discussion <laughs> and was looking at questions you know how the discussions in blueprint you can see if people ask questions and somebody asked her about that cover and this is the cover it is this it's a teflon it's called iron slide iron shoe so I'm gonna show you the packaging in a minute but you tie it on here you put it on and then you just tie this and it draws around the iron um, so this is Teflon and um, uh, you know I looked looked it up did you know see what, what the excitement was but she talked very highly of the product in the discussion she didn't talk about it in the video obviously but in the discussion um, and so I bought it this was how much was this thing 15 16 dollars maybe and it's by Bow Nash iron slide iron shoe let me see if I can get this this out the sleeve okay there it is so you will have no scorching no um, no shine no burn no no press cloth makes iron easy and um and it, then it tells you um how to use it you know all the different perks about it this company is based out of washington it looks like but um yes and let me tell you i used it on um i have the supima cotton for my husband's button-ups and i noticed the first time i ironed on it um that it was a little bit of a shine and um i was like oh I'm gonna get that and when I use that no shine at all I still for my ironing board need to get um, for me I want to get uh, the cotton quilting the batting and um, a new cover to go over my ironing board just to really um, add some extra um, depth there but it says easy for use on seams darts pleats creases um, nothing burns or scorches iron from cotton to silk or denim to lace without waiting for iron to cool iron over sequins puff paint glitter motifs without damage it says nothing sticks it's made of fiberglass with a non-stick surface starch infusible wipe starch infusible wipe off right um wipe right off i'm sorry um yeah, it says, let the iron slide iron shoe make your life easier. And I will say that thing really, really works so well. So I didn't have, when I was ironing my husband's shirt, didn't have um, any shine anymore on the shirt. And yes, and I have used it to iron over um, denim as well. Because you all know I'm working on my Ames jeans. Perfect. Um, and pretty much I just leave it on there. I'm like, why take it off? No need. Um, so love it. So the, here's the thing. I will link down the company Bow Nash down below. If you want that particular one, I do highly recommend it. Um, again, no affiliate link or anything like that, but for those who, um, want to get it through, get something similar through Amazon, check out my Amazon store. I did look up an iron shoe cause I was wondering if something similar was on Amazon and those are like, they almost attach there is not like this. Um, and so maybe they have a patent on this design. I'm not sure. Um, it's very possible because I did not find any other design 
out there that was like that. So my guess is they may have that patented and trademarked and um, so nobody else can uh, create it. But anyway, <laughs> so the final item I would like to talk about, and it's kind of all in cut all up here. But if you all remember my haul from um, a couple months ago, I talked about um, some interfacing that I got from, and I bought the interfacing uh, swatch set from Fashion Sewing Supply. And I heard about this from Elizabeth made this from Elizabeth, Elizabeth from Elizabeth made this. And um, she said it's some awesome, 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 perfect interfacing for button ups and different things like that. So I said, OK, I went ahead and bought the um, kind that she talked about. And then um, I went ahead and bought this swatch set. So let me just tell you about the swatch set real quick, what you get and what it looks like. So not only do you get whatever you order, but in the swatch set, they have, here's what it, it comes folded up inside a piece of paper like this in a plastic bag with this wrapped around it. And so what this is, is interfacing instructions and information. So they have a lot of um, different types of woven interfacing for woven that you do not have to pre-shrink or anything, which is really nice. And so, and if you have to do anything special to it, it tells you right here. The kind that I, I bought a full, was it a full yard of, was the, sh it's called Shirt Crisp Fusible Interfacing. And it is described as a crisp yet flexible fusible cotton woven interfacing. It is specially made to produce perfectly crisp shirt collars and cuffs. No pre-treatment needed and it does not shrink. Um, it says because high heat is needed, fused to fabric with at least 20% cotton, linen, or other natural fiber content. So mine uh, that I applied mine to was 100% cotton. And then it goes into how you um, how you apply it and things of that nature, which wasn't bad at all. You have to use a pressing cloth with it, but um, not bad at all. And so this is what's left of the shirt crisp that I bought. It's in all these little pieces because what I did for my husband's his cuffs and his collar and the shirt band I used this and um, I cut the collar pieces on the bias so um, um, yes uh, and so then I cut then I messed up a collar and I had to recut it so I was mad <laughs> I could, not like I couldn't reuse it and for the life of me I, oh I do have the price 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 so the swatch set 13 large pieces is $10.99 and then the pro woven shirt crisp fusible it was is 48 inches and I got it in slate gray that was $9.55 so my total order with shipping shipping was $5.75 was $26.29 so I just pulled out the um, packing slip there this stuff is amazing. And so if you can see this, I didn't want white. I want to something that wanted to make sure it didn't, you know, I just, since they come in a gray, I bought it. Look at that. This is the side that goes down and shiny. Um, so I have pieces left. And let me tell you, I don't know about you guys, but I might have pieces of interfacing like this even with the kind I buy from Joann's I save this and so sometimes I tech tricks my um, interfacing pieces on something that I that may need to be interfaced I do not throw away um, interfacing and I'm not throwing this away <laughs> even the scraps I'm not throwing I'll figure out how to you know make it work but let me just share with you so this is his collar and when I tell you this stuff it's so, it just feels so good. Now, granted, you can use, um, what is it? Peltex, Pellin? I forget. Y'all know what I'm talking about from Joanne. I believe if it's SF101 um, woven interfacing. I've used that. It works great. It really does. But you can tell the difference between this from um, Fashion Sewing Supply and that Pellin. I think it's Pellin. Um Oh my gosh, feels so good. And so I wanted to use it for his collars, and I did. And I used it for his collars, the button band, and 
excuse me, the cuffs. And when I tell you this stuff, oh, it, it now the only tricky bit I think with it is when the buttonholes needed to be put on. It was a little thick and Andrea put the buttonholes on for me. So she said it was a little bit of a struggle, but what she ended up doing to resolve that, and for those who happen to get this, is she put in um, stabilizer underneath just to make sure it went through fine. Um, Cause yeah, that is some good interfacing. Thank you, Elizabeth, um, for that. Very, very good stuff. So. And then the, let me just show you the swatch set. So a lot of this, I absolutely do not, I admit, I don't know what to use this stuff for, but I just looked at the information that they sent. You can go on their web, their website and look up information. But let me just share with you the different um, interfacing you get. You get some um, ProShare Elegance Light Fusible. And I'll hold this up to the camera so you know what it's used for. But it's a um, polyester microfiber. It says it does not shrink. So that's what this is. So feel free to take a peek. And this is what it looks like. So yeah, I'll have to, for the other items, I'll have to just kind of read up what, what I buy it for. This one is a Pro Sheer Elegance Couture Fusible. And um, this one you do, it says it does not shrink, but there is some, um, it looks like there's some pre-treatment here. And this is what it looks like. Can you see that? It's very nice. Feels very good. But this is, oops, sorry. But this is what it, what it is. Very nice. Then we have the, now I've heard about this one, um, Tree Cot. And this is called Pro Tricot Deluxe Fusible. Um, this is a four-way stretch um, for for knit interfacing. And so it's 98% polyester, 2% spandex, elastane, and it does not shrink. And it comes in several different colors. This is what it looks like. Very nice. So here is the information on that. Very, very nice. Then there is the Pro Weft Supreme Medium Fusible. Um, again, this is, um, all suiting. So it looks like this is perfect for suiting fabrics. It comes in a natural and a charcoal black. And this comes in 66 inch width. Look at that. That's some nice stuff. I got to tell y'all, this is some high quality interfacing. If, when I do, um, probably some kind of, uh, I have a jacket in mind that I'm going to be doing. I, I, yes, I'm going to try this. I'm going to get some of this um, interfacing. I'm definitely getting more of the, the shirt shirt interfacing, but yes. And then there's the Pro Weft Supreme Light Fusible. So this is the light fusible. And that, oh, and um, it says for lapels, collars, underlining, including underlining, shaping. But let me just show you. This here has, oh, it's 60% viscose rayon and 40% polyester. Here you go. Ooh, that feel, this stuff feels so good. Um, and then this is Pro Sheer Elegance Medium Fusible. And this is 5% viscose viscose and 95% polyester and it says it does not shrink look at that that's some nice nice amount of stretch to it that's what this is so I imagine if you have some special projects and you really and you've already tested it maybe and you know that it calls for some interfacing I highly recommend looking them up get this um, having this swatch set is really really helpful this is the Pro Roven Superior Sew In lightly soft. I imagine this might be for, they say, um, this is a sew-in, so it's for, uh, for those who like to sew on the interfacing. It says shirts, any kind of garment, it does not shrink. 95% cotton and 5% polyester. It don't feel like, yeah. I was gonna say it don't feel like regular interfacing, but it's not because it doesn't fuse. You sew it on. Very nice. 
Then we have the Pro Woven Superior Sew In Lightly Crisp. So another sew in. Boy, this stuff feel good. Um, it says stays crisp after garment is washed and it resists wrinkles. I can see this being inside a bag, actually. This reminds me of the bag, kind of the weight of the um, woven that you would use in bag, bag making. But this is so nice. Hopefully you see that. Then you have the Pro Woven Light Crisp Fusible. Um, and this here is um, it's a hundred percent cotton and wow this stuff is so nice look at that very nice um, and then we have the pro woven shirt crisp which is what I used and I got it in that slate gray so it comes in the slate gray I showed you and it comes in the white so I won't show show all of that um, then we have the pro pro woven say that fast super crisp fusible and this is for craft applications okay so this one might be made for maybe you'll use this for bag making it's a hundred percent stable cotton um is what it says yeah i think this one this one is probably a real good one for bag making but look at that isn't that nice and then, a couple more left, Pro Taylor Classic Sew-In Hair Cloth. I don't know what that is. Oh, it says 60% 60% wool, 40% goat hair. <laughs> and I, I don't know what you would use this for. Um, but yeah. Wow, wow. Wow. Well, let me show you the card. I do not know what you would use this for. I have the slightest idea. But it says it does not shrink. It must be some good stuff. Well, all of this is good. But whatever you use this for, make sure you use it for the right thing because it's twenty ninety five a yard. But it comes in 68 inches wide. That's pretty good. Wow. That's, that sounds fancy. And then this one is, oh, did they send me two of the same one? Oh, this is the sew-in. Then you have the fusible. Then they also have a fusible. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so this one is fusible. The other one is not fusible. So the fusible is a dollar more per, per yard. So $21.95. There you go. So those are the sewing tools and a quick review that I had and just want to show you the contents of the um, fashion sewing supply. I did say I was going to come back in and do that. So I figured I would put it all together. So thank you everybody for tuning in. That's all I have today. Tell me, do you use any of these tools? Have you used any of these tools? What do you think about them? Please leave your comments down below. Um, this thing for the iron, love 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 so yeah i highly recommend that i really do i highly recommend it all all of it has worked wonderful 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 and some crisp collars get that fashion sewing supply and i'll link that down below uh, where to get that as well so that is it if you have any questions please leave them down below i will see you next week in my next video all right everybody have a blessed week